Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick with a quick look at how things are shaping up for the rest of your day today into the Mid-South and beyond. Our latest winter storm is on its way out of the picture, heading on up to the north and to the east, and it's going to continue that direction. But some of you out there this morning are picking up a little bit of cloud cover. It's not much, and we don't have any rain or anything else going on with it. Excuse me for just one second here. Where is that? I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to have that in view with it point in time just to make certain everything is nice and tidy here. As of right now, again, pretty quiet for the time being. We're looking again some possible showers into the forecast later on. If you'd like to pick up more information about the seven-day forecast, again, it's in the lower left-hand corner of your screen and available all the time here at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to check in and see what's going on there. If you are checking in this morning, again, thanks to everybody for stopping by for just a little bit and drop your location and your current weather conditions, if you have them, into the comments section. We'd love to see what the weather's like and where you're from. So stick around again and let us know a little bit more about where you're at. And if you're in North Mississippi, East Arkansas, or West Tennessee, that's great. But if you're from outside the area, please let us know again a little bit more about where you're joining us from. We'd love to see where you're checking in from. We've got some from Hawaii in the last couple of days, from Florida into around the areas back toward uh, France even over this weekend around Bordeaux. So thanks a lot to everybody for checking in from overseas seas out that direction. Nice to have you along. Now, as of right now, current conditions in the Mid-South area are pretty quiet and dry and should be staying that way throughout much of the rest of the day. But as this latest storm system passes us on by to the north, it's going to shuffle in a little bit of some cooler conditions. It's not much, but it does have, again, the potential for dropping our temperatures from where they were. If you remember yesterday or the weekend and you saw the temperatures in the 60s or if you're around, say, Oxford or Batesville, you had temperatures around 70 degrees. Not going to be the case today a little bit on the brisk side out there as temperatures are going to be dropping back into the mid to upper 40s for highs. Now that again sounds a little cooler, but it's not even anywhere close to the ice box we were in last week at this time with wind chills down sub-zero. And as of right now, this is about as close to normal January temperatures for this time of the year as you can possibly get. So something to think about again for the early morning hours of Tuesday. See who we got here. Shirley Cleveland. Good morning. Welcome to the show. 39 degrees in Jacks Creek, Tennessee. Don't think I've ever been there before. Anna Dayhuff. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, Paul Pruitt. Hope I'm saying that right. Decaturville in the 40s or so, or 40 degrees. Hope I'm saying that right too. Didn't think about using the percentage sign. That's a neat idea. Uh, Brownsville. Diane Sangster. Welcome to the show. Dennis Dozier. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you watching for this morning. Tampa. Louise See, Kremel Mirvik, hope I'm close to saying that. Thanks a lot for joining us, and say hello to my uh, wife's aunt, Suzanne, who lives down that direction in and around uh, parts of Tampa, St. Pete. Cordova, Riyadh Gauche, hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, Antonio Thompson Sr., Crenshaw, Mississippi. Haven't been there since I talked to the schools down there about 2011. And welcome to everybody else for checking on through. We'll take another look at the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Right now, again, keeping you updated on what's going on. Welcoming everybody who's just joining us. This is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, keeping you updated with what's going on with forecast information across the Mid-South. Always available with weather at wrhe.com slash weather. And if you are just joining us, can't stick around for the whole forecast. Take a look at the blue bar in the lower section of the screen right down there, and you can see the forecast scrolling on by here, and that'll keep you updated as to what's going on into and around the area. All right, let's get going and take a peek around the area, or at least points beyond Great Smoky Mountains National Park from the National Park Service's webcams, and showing some blue skies in East Tennessee, Western North Carolina. Not much green showing up just yet, but we still have about half the season of winter to go, so probably going to be a little bit on the brown side back toward the Great Smokies in the course of the next few days. Want to find out more about the Great Smoky Mountains or the other Park Service cameras out there? Follow the hashtag FindYourPark or the hashtag OptOutside, O-P-T, Outside, and that'll give you some great photography and also some great hints and tips to go to the National Park Service's webcams and all kinds of other great opportunities to see around the area. Closer to home, here's what it looks like around Heidelberg Elementary. A few clouds drifting on through areas in Clarksdale, Mississippi, but otherwise not looking at too much out there. Live view of traffic around I-240 and Poplar. Always the usual slowdowns out there due to construction and accidents. Corey Ventura keeping you updated on time saver traffic for this morning. But on the east side of the I-240 Super Collider at just about 840 this morning. Again, not doing too bad on the traffic as we hit the far side of rush hour. 
Clark's the Clark Tower area down to around Poplar and Mendenhall. Traffic along Poplar Pike and Germantown Parkway moving along. A little hazy out in the distance, 41 degrees from City Hall camera in Germantown. Wind's a little breezy out of the west at about 12, so that's giving you wind chills back into the lower 30s so far this morning. Delays, Memphis International not reporting anything, so that's good news if you're traveling by air. Camera's a little wibbly-wobbly at 240 in airways, and that's, again, due to those northwesterly breezes, and that's going to continue throughout the course of the area. Amos King, garden time, eh, maybe a little bit early for that, but uh, for some of you out there, I'm pretty sure you're already out there digging in the dirt and getting stuff ready to go uh, for spring out there. See, Temi Shomi Ayangbasan, I hope I'm saying that right. Good job reporting the weather. Uh, hopefully that was fairly close to that. You would think with a name like Onik, I would know better on pronouncing almost anything, but sometimes it doesn't work too well that direction. See who else we got here. Cornelius Tillman from Memphis. Good morning. Welcome to everybody else for checking in. If you're checking in from in the Mid-South or outside the Mid-South, uh, please make certain you drop your locations into the comments section and your temperature reports as well. Trenton, Tennessee, 40 degrees. Anita K. Scott Callis, welcome to the show. And thanks to everybody else for checking on through for this morning. Good morning from Batesville. Michelle Hughes, South Haven. Becky Gwynn, thank you very much for checking in. And... Uh, everybody else for checking in. It's kind of hard to see stuff with two-point typeface and bifocals. Here's what we look at for into the area. A lot more problems into around the East Coast states and also on the West Coast. Delays due to weather around San Francisco. Uh, that's holding steady for right now. Delays increasing around Newark at the International Airport there. Delays of 15 minutes or less around JFK in New York, but that seems to be improving for right now. So it doesn't seem to be a major problem, but there are going to be some delays out there if you're going to be heading out the door and heading toward the airport pretty soon. Check in with information like this. It's at wrg.com slash weather, or you can get to it by going direct to the source, fly.faa.gov. Great opportunity to learn more about what to look for out there. Storm Tracker 3S radar, we've ramped up the sensitivity to see if there's anything out there. And as of right now, really not much of anything to talk about. Now, we do have a little bit of moisture in the form of clouds. If you take a look right into around northwest Mississippi, the Boot Hill and northeast Arkansas. If you're in the metro area, if you look to the north, you can see these clouds just right over the northern horizon. And these are part of that last storm system that came on through. And that's barreling its way over the Great Lakes right now, giving some rain, snow, and even some blizzard conditions to the Plain States. That's going to be making its way on out of the picture, heading on up to the north and to the east. As it does, we'll continue to see a lot of the very moist air go away from us, dry air on its way on through, but it's also going to be dropping our temperatures by just a bit as that cold air wraps around the backside of that system. So you're going to notice cooler and drier conditions today, but you're also going to see a little bit more in the way of sunshine. Again, for those of you in and around, say, Dyersburg, Jonesboro, uh, Kennet, Zenith, into around Cape Girardeau. You're getting a lot more cloud cover this morning, but we'll be looking for more sunshine into the course of the rest of the day. So we'll be seeing a little bit more uh, into the rest of the morning. There are Cloudy in Bells, Kim Tucker. Thank you very much. James Petty, welcome to the show. Good morning from Dyersburg. Carolyn Kreitzer Adams, hope I'm saying that right. Uh, everybody else, okay, Miss Ayangbisan. Got it right. Good. Okay. <laughs> is with name pronunciation, sometimes even with a name like Onik, I can't tell properly. So thank you very much on that. Live, real-time, on-your-side weather, which again, you can pick up. Let's see which way I'm pointing here. There you go. At wrg.com slash weather, click on the weather bug icon and the at the top of the menu, and you can get more information about the current conditions that are nearest to your location. And temperatures right now back in the upper 30s to around the lower to mid 40s. Winds occasionally breezy. The main thing is they've switched to the northwest and with the breezes over 10 miles per hour, we are getting some wind chills down into the lower 30s, even the upper 20s. Maybe brief, but it is very chilly out there when you step out the door with some of those breezes going on. And again, pick up this information at wrg.com slash weather for more. All right, walking you through the forecast, let's run the numbers into the rest of the day through lunchtime and into dismissal time for the kids. Mid to upper 40s for highs and maybe close to around 50 degrees as we get down to around Clarksdale, Batesville, Tunica, Helena, West Helena, Marvell, Hughes in that area. You may see the warmest temperatures for later on today. Millington, Dyersburg, Jackson, Tennessee, Corinth back into the northeastern Arkansas area. Fairly cool conditions back in the mid to upper 40s for later on. And that again is going to be giving us some pretty chilly numbers compared to where we were 
just maybe a day or two ago. Still pretty mild compared to the really cold winter storms that moved through the Mid-South just a couple of days ago. So looking pretty good at this time. Let's see, Tammy Chumley, cloudy in Munford. Thank you very much for that one. Good morning, Jonesboro. Glenda Easton, Eastman Newson, Lexington, Tennessee. James Petty, thanks for checking in. Sunny in Millington. Sandra Taylor, thank you very much. And Sharon Morgan from Covington, Tennessee. Thanks a lot for everybody for checking on in so far this morning. Uh, where's the, Las Vegas, 50 degrees. Okay, is that uh, Las Vegas, New Mexico, or Las Vegas, I'm assuming Nevada, Nathan Harrington. Thanks a lot for uh, joining us this morning from out west, 39 degrees and cloudy in Dyersburg. Thanks very much, Carolyn Adams, on that one. Okay, for the rest of the afternoon into this evening, again, remaining dry winds out of the northwest should be a good night for stargazing out there and hopefully another good pass of the Chinese space station tonight. If you haven't heard, Tiangong-1, the first Chinese space station, Heavenly Palace-1, is going to be crashing back to Earth in the next few months, probably around late February, early March, and we can still see it here in the Mid-South. It's a little bit on the dim side, but we can still see it in the night skies, and I'll keep you up to date with that on my various social media networks, so stay tuned for more there. But good stargazing weather tonight, cool and dry, maybe a little breezy overnight. Temperatures by the time we get into around daybreak tomorrow morning with News Channel 3's Todd Demers. Back in the lower 30s, could be below freezing in some areas once again, so we could be looking at some frost out there, maybe kind of, sort of, but not really seeing a lot into the way of very cold weather out there. And then into tomorrow, we may get just a little bit warmer, but not entirely by much. So today when you pick the kids up from school, tomorrow when you pick the kids up from school, that'll be the warmest portion of the day, mid to upper 40s to right about the lower 50s, and winds continue out of the northwest, and that'll continue to bring in some very dry air across much of the Mid-South area throughout the rest of the day. And going into evening, around News Channel 3 at 10 on Wednesday. Temperatures dropping into the upper 30s to lower 40s, but remaining dry into the rest of the week, so that looks pretty good out across much of the area. One more check of the forecast for this morning. We'll bring you the seven-day forecast coming up here in just a little bit on News Channel 3 live at 9, so stay tuned for more details on that. Rest of the day today, again, temperatures mainly back into around the mid to upper 40s to lower 50s. Again, not exactly what we saw in the last couple of days with temperatures near about 70 degrees or so going to be a little bit cooler than that, but again, this is pretty normal for this time of the year. So a little breezy, not doing too bad on the temperatures out there, and looking pretty good across much of the area throughout the rest of the day so far for today. And thanks to everybody else for checking in. Let's see here. Uh, do you think we'll get sun in Bells this afternoon? Kim Tucker, yes, but it's going to take a while for those clouds that we showed you to move out of the area at this time. Cindy Powell Kidder, sunny in Henderson, Tennessee. Thank you very much uh, for joining us there and everybody else who's checking on through for this morning as well. We'll have updates on the forecast coming up a little later again on Live at 9. If you have not had a chance to learn about this and maybe you've just moved to the area and you'd like to know more, we are just now getting into the severe weather season for this time of the year. Late January through about roughly say late April, early May, somewhere in there. This is the prime season for severe weather. This is where we can have the nastiest storms, the largest hail, the largest tornadoes. And now, before anything is happening, while the sun is shining, again, this is the time to get ready for stuff before the skies turn dark and stormy. So if you'd like to know more about what you can do to get ready and to help your fellow Mid-Southerners to stay prepared for severe weather, these are the first four meetings coming up for anything involving severe weather training by the National Weather Service. Now, it looks like with the government shutdown uh, coming to a close, hopefully it looks like things are a little bit better where it comes to anything involving training out there, so we won't have to worry about canceled classes. The one from Memphis and Shelby County will be coming up later on toward about late February, early March. These are just the first four. There's about a baker's dozen of them that are going to be held across the Mid-South. They last about an hour or so. They're totally free. Their tax dollars, my tax dollars, help pay for them. And one of the best ways that our tax dollars have ever been spent all you do is just show up and take the course, and the National Weather Service meteorologists help you to understand what it may be happening when it comes to severe weather. So first four meetings coming up, Tuesday, February 13th at Sumner, Mississippi at the Emmett Till Interpretive Center. That'll be at 6 p.m. Tuesday, February 20th, Cross County Wind Fire Department, 1111 North Falls Boulevard in Wynn, Arkansas. Thursday, February 22nd at Lexington, Tennessee at the Henderson County Emergency Operations Center. And just on March the 1st, Thursday, 6.30 p.m., Trenton, Tennessee, Gibson County Emergency Operations Center. Again, show up, take the course, 
Learn what needs to be done before, during, and after severe weather. What you can look for, and more importantly, what you can use this thing for to report back to the National Weather Service. Your information, if you call in from, say, West Memphis, Arkansas, and you see a rotating wall cloud, damage, big hail, whatever it is, you can call that information into the National Weather Service over on Germantown Parkway. They can let the authorities know, law enforcement, hospitals to be prepared for possible injuries. They can let street crews know what may be happening. They can let schools know to be safe in the area. More importantly, they can let me and my colleagues here at News Channel 3 let everyone know what is going on so that if it's in this area and moving back to the north and east, we can tell people in Millington, Gilt Edge, we can tell people in Osceola, back toward around Covington in those areas, what may be happening and what may be coming your way, all because you are keeping an eye on what's happening out there. So you can really help when it comes to severe weather. It's citizen science. It's really cool. Kids get involved in this. I've seen spotters as young as about eight years old get involved with stuff like this. So again, a good opportunity for kids to have some control over what feels like a really uncontrollable situation. And that can really help when it comes to to getting prepared and learning what needs to be done. So if you'd like to take this course, find out more again right here at wrhg.com slash weather. Follow the National Weather Service on their social media pages, and we'll have more of these coming up over the next several days and weeks so we can keep you informed as to what's going on. So if you haven't taken a course like this before, please consider doing so. If you haven't taken one for a few years, now's the time to get updated. I have been taking these courses since 1980. How old does that make me? You don't get to ask that. Sorry about that, but not going to be happening now. We'll have another update of your complete forecast coming up with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live. That's until 8 to 10 a.m. this morning on AM 730, or join them on TalkbackLiveNetwork.org for some great sports chat out there. And, of course, meet more details throughout the area on Live at 9 in just a few minutes and throughout the rest of the day with Tim, Todd, and Jim. So stay tuned for more on that. i got to curtail things here for just a bit because we're almost on with our 855 updates. So stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 online, and stay tuned for more on air throughout the rest of the day. And thanks to everybody for joining us for this morning. Thanks a lot for sticking around into the area for this morning and all your comments and weather reports from around the area and points beyond. Really appreciate everybody stopping on by for this morning to find out more about what's happening here. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the day and the rest of the week.